Morse, Kansas. Uh, also on some maps it was known as Morris, uh, but M-O-R-S-E, Kansas. is a ghost town that's actually in the southern part of Overland Park. Uh, the city of Overland Park is extended down uh, this far. So it's basically uh, a couple old buildings that you wouldn't even know used to be a town, but it it was a town along the Oregon Trail, it got settled in the 1860s, which would have been towards the end of the peak of the Oregon Trail. The railroad was often um, along the Oregon and Santa Fe Trail as well. So railroad came through here and there's actually a road right up, up the street named Railroad Avenue. So I'm assuming the railroad used to go through there. And so that created some business here, created some opportunities for, for people to move here. and. It was never a big, big town, maybe a hundred or so people. Eventually it just kind of got overtaken by uh, the greater Kansas City area. And now, it's, uh, like I said, you wouldn't even know that there used to be a town here. But you could imagine uh, 150 years ago, this was the town and there was nothing for miles and miles in all directions. Bonita was a really small little town on the railroad here, um, and all that's left of it is this general store. There is a there's a newer building, like a, a saloon, restaurant, bar of some sort, just on the other side of the railroad tracks. Um, but but there's not much left of Bonita, and, and there really wasn't a whole lot here to begin with. It was uh, picked as a spot because of its uh, convenient location on how the railroad was laid out and uh, so that it grew to a small town because of the railroad and then has uh, just has declined over time to, to being just a scattering of houses but this old uh, general store or grocery store whatever it was is is pretty cool and um, still a busy road behind us as you can hear but the general store is definitely worth checking out. Field, Kansas uh, had a very interesting and wild history. Uh, it was it was formed um, on Bull Creek here, and it was across the creek from another town. I think it was called McCormish, and it was McCormish was a uh, a pro-slavery state, and the people that came here wanted to be anti-slavery. So, right across the creek, they had towns that had differing opinions back in the 1850s and then um, as the in the in, during the Civil War times in the 1860s there was um, a large pro-slavery movement through this area and they had they had the Battle of Bull Creek and that wiped out a lot of the people that lived here and, and I think as many as a hundred people or so lived here and and a lot of people were killed in that battle the small town kind of survived a little bit this school behind me was built in the 1860s and is still here which is pretty remarkable 
and it operated for almost 100 years um, until the 1950s. And that's the only thing left of Waynesfield is this school.